brand new map changes, both in-game for this season's live event and coming in season four. Yeah, it's kind of nuts. New map changes can be found here in the latest Fortnite update. The pipelines have now been extended and they are considerably closer to Megalodon's giant boat. The pipelines are playing a major part in this season's storyline and in this season's final event. The pipelines, once connected to Megalodon's boat, will slowly fill up with nitro fuel, which players will be able to see in-game. And as it reaches the boat, the pressure gauge will fill up until it's full. Then this season's final events will begin. Yeah, these animations can be found in the game's files right now and are directly connected with this season's final events. You could say this pressure gauge is actually going to be the countdown this season's final events as when the gauge hits full, it will be showtime. Yeah, I mean, most players probably didn't realize that it had just been updated as technically it is only a couple of pipes. Uh, well, I mean, it's, it's more than a couple of pipes. It's a lot of pipes. I mean, basically, it stopped there, and all of this is brand new. All of this right here, all of this is here, and look. Oh, yo, look how close we are to Big Meg's big boat. The heck was that noise? Is that normal? Hey, yo, bro. Did you hear that noise? No. You may have missed these secret changes. Once the pipes are completed, everybody is gonna know about it. <laughs> yes, sir. Speaking of map changes, some of season four's newest POIs and locations have already been revealed. And you really need to see them. With season four being Marvel themed, we already have confirmation that both Doctor Doom <laughs> and his secret base will actually be appearing in season four. Nice. Back in chapter two of season four, Doctor Doom arrived with his Doom's Domain, which was a castle-like building completed with his throne room and a bunch of references to the big man himself. Well, it seems in the next season, Doctor Doom is back with a new location called Angle Patch. This code name has been leaked in the game's files, and we are currently unsure exactly what it will be. But with season four taking place during Ford's Nightmares, you know the spooky time of the year, it might actually make sense for this old school creepy castle of Dr. Doom's to return to our game. Yeah, Doom's domain is coming back with the new Fortnite season containing brand new leaked outfits for both Wolverine and Deadpool. It's pretty clear that season four is somewhat based off of the new Wolverine and Deadpool film that is literally being released on the same day as the brand new season. Yeah, pretty big coincidence? I think not. Players were excited to find the location from the trailer is also found in the game's files for season four. The trailer shows a giant Ant-Man skull helmet thing, which is being used as a secret base. Turns out this secret Ant-Man base was also found in the game's files. I'm sorry, jump scare, surprise, supporter creator code, hashtag ad, hashtag I'm an Epic Games partner. If you like these videos, enter my supporter creator code in. It helps me out a bunch. I really appreciate it, guys. I right, back to the video. As a location to replace the Nitro Drone. The Ant-Man skull location in the films seems to have something to do with an oversized Ant-Man that the characters are using as a secret base. We won't exactly know until the film's release, but with multiple images of this location found online, players were excited for us to have this same location in season four. But players were saddened to find out that this was actually a concept that was being pushed around online. <laughs> And at this time, there's no confirmation that this epic Ant-Man helmet will actually be a location in game. Hey, but I'd tell you one thing, this would make for a sick location. So maybe it will come to game, but right now, it ain't looking too good. We are also expecting to see the arrival of Stark Industries, as multiple teasers have been added around our island, confirming the return of Iron Man's iconic location. Multiple Iron Man Rift beacons have now appeared across our Fortnite island. Island. The Rift Beacons appeared in Fortnite back in the Marvel-themed season in the fight against Galactus Damn, to save boy. our island. Iron Man was one of the characters defending our island, 
Fortnite. And he used this Rift Beacon to bring Stark Industries into our Fortnite reality. Stark Industries was one of the coolest locations to ever arrive to Fortnite. And it brought with it a massive playable location. Iron Man, super fast cars, mythic items, and even the big man himself, Tony Stark. Uh, also known as uh, Iron Man. The beacon is placed facing reckless railways. Back in chapter 2, we're placed in a giant circle shape. So they could bring in the giant circle, which was Stark Industries. Multiple Iron Man Rift beacons will soon be placed around this location, presumably replacing reckless railways with some kind of upcoming Stark Industries location for the brand new season. So it looks like we are heading towards a new Marvel themed season. With Deadpool, Wolverine probably working with Iron Man on some way to defeat Doctor Doom. But what are they fighting over? I mean, last time we had like Galactus and stuff and he was after the zero point. So what is Doctor Doom after? <laughs> the zero point? Yes. What? He's actually after the zero point? What? We know the zero point is making a return in season four. And it looks like our Marvel heroes will be fighting it out for control over the zero point. Zero point scan is the name of a special effect that has been added into the game's files, which seems to be connected with these Iron Man Rift Beacons that were recently added into our game. Zero Point was being used as a dimensional time-traveling device by the Imagined Order, but now with it being used to restart the Fortnite Omniverse, we are kind of surprised to see it making a reappearance back in Chapter 5. Yeah, I mean, if you look at it in-game right now, it literally just comes up as Initiate Activation Sequence, but we know from the game's files that this is leading to some kind of effect called Zero point scan. Yo, so whatever that is, configure rift beacons at the top left. Whatever that effect is, it's soon gonna lead to us finding the exact location of the zero point. Hey, yo, season four is shaping up to be kind of crazy. You know, Wolverine, Deadpool, zero point, Doctor Doom. Yo, kind of nuts. <laughs> I'm like, uh, this season's, like, little mini battle pass event. Uh, is it just me, or has everybody else forgot that this is a Pirates of the Caribbean collab? Like, I just completely forgot that we were living through this. I'm Captain Jack Sparrow. And I know! Oh, Jack. So lucky, bro. Oh, he's so lucky! <laughs> I mean, what do you guys think? Do you think Doctor Doom is really coming to our Fortnite game? I mean, he definitely is. Because the kids in the game's files have already uncovered a Lego version of Doctor Doom's cape. Yeah, apparently there was a bunch of Lego Fortnite leaks. And Doctor Doom's green cape is found in the files. So yeah, he's definitely coming. How excited are you guys for Doctor Doom? Deadpool, Wolverine, and you know, whoever else has come to the game. Just let me know how excited you are. Hey, yo, stop shooting me, dog! Hey, yo, chill, man! Hey, yo, this guy gotta chill for real! I'll let he go! Here I come! Yo, they weren't expecting that, huh? Yo, they what? Bro, that item is trash. Yo! Oh, no way! Hey, yo, you see how quickly I moved on that? Hey, I took zero damage, dog. Hey, bro, I ain't washed, dog. That's how you know I ain't washed. Bro, I am sick of this. Bro! Do it! Just do it! 